what is going on guys we are back with more hogwarts legacy jumping straight from the last one we attacked the natty freed her from being captured like a noob and then uh, basically just fixed everyone's problems supposedly and now we're going to be talking to poppy and see how she's doing see what her quest is like because i think we have to go let's double check it we just gotta go speak with her meet poppy in a forbidden forest so let's just see what she's got to say if you guys enjoy Leave a like and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Oh, Poppy, this is the same area that Mr. Sebastian was chilling at somewhere. Oh, hello. What I you... can do this. I can do this. They will want to help. No one wants to help you. Is this where we're meeting the centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise. That's how we like it. Once we tell them about the snidgets, they'll understand why we came and they'll want to help. Ah, uh, the snidgets, right. eh? Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere. There's something about them that's so knowing. It's almost unnerving. Let's find out. I suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience. That's exactly the right word. I just... never mind. What is it? It's nothing, truly. I've... we've no secrets to hide. That's right. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely What kind right. of secrets you got, Poppy? We'll meet with them, tell them about the Snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fun. Oh, Spoke too soon. They're pulling up. Oh, shit. Hey, guys. How's it going? Damn. What do you think you're doing here, humans? Please. Oh, it's... We were hoping to speak with you. Ah, I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur and it spoke back. No, never. We're here because we need your help. Enough. You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Now hold up, hold up. Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm the young. It is not. Our oh, way. damn, you the ball, same. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continue to slaughter beasts like us without a care. From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. Oh. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. Damn. Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now, follow me before Golden I... Golden Snidgets are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means yet. Please help us find the snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be? In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek, a moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. Oh, is he actually trusting us? Let's go. Yeah, I could have said something, bro. I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. What do moonstones have to do with snidgets? And mm. why was he so certain about where we could find one? He's a boss. Isn't Moonstone all around us? Why retrieve one from a cave? Knowing centaurs, I suspect he's referring to a specific Moonstone. We'll likely know it when we see it. Who? I don't know, but I am inclined to believe him. What with his being a centaur and all. I am too. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. 
That's what the leader of the herd called them. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. That's how we do it. And start looking into the cave you mentioned. Oh, I mean, you haven't even, you haven't even done that part. I'll let you know what I find. Yeah, damn girl. Okay, well, what's the next quest? I guess we got wait. Mm, in the shadow of hope. Uh, let's go do the natty one. Just because, uh, well, why the hell not, eh? Oh, is she in trouble again? Boy. Where is it? Where's the natty one? Oh, there's a summoner squirt again. Bruh. Uh, oh, Phoenix Rising and Zeke. Oh, right here. Okay, well, yo, she's having lunch. Shit, let's go say hello. Have some lunch with that girl. See what she's got to say. Felt like I yelled at and shit. <laughs> oh, I gotta wait again. Ah, oh, Lord, why is she never here on time? Every time I find her. Ah, I have been meaning to speak with you. Oh, well, God dang, what you got to say? I still can't believe we escaped the Ashwinders. You may not realize it, but you are the talk of the school since you saved me that day. I wonder how everyone knows about it. I told my mother in the hope that she would be more forgiving of what I have been up to if it came from me. She likely told other professors and <laughs> news travels quickly. Oh, God damn. Unfortunately, she might, in fact, have been even less forgiving than I'd hoped. Hmm. If she knew more about what you've done, I suspect she'd be proud. If she knew any more about what I've done, she would never let me out of her sight again. I'm sorry. True. Has Officer Singer done anything with the evidence we provided? She has not. Halo is as strong as ever. Someone needs to stop him, whether it is us or Officer Singer. If someone had stopped the monsters like him in Matabililand, my father would be alive today. What exactly happened to your father? It was a beautiful day. My mother had gone to tend to a neighbor who was ill, and so my father and I were galloping in the savannah. Galloping? Your father was also an Animagus, I take it. He could become the most majestic giraffe. The and giraffe. he would carry me on his back, my arms around his neck. We were on our way home when we surprised a group of bandits who had come from our village. One of them saw me just as he removed a scarf from his face. He shouted and then aimed his rifle. He didn't want you to identify him. Exactly. In an instant, my father bowed his neck to protect me and was hit. As he fell, my father changed back into his human form. When the bandits saw this, they turned and ran in fear. Magic terrified them, and then he was gone. <sighs> and it was all my fault. Your fault? How so? He died protecting me. If I had been capable of protecting myself, he would still be alive today. My mother and I tried to go on without him, but it became too much for us there. A few years later, we left to come to Scotland. Mm. Yeah, Do you sense. think taking down the Ashwinders will avenge your father's death? No. Vengeance is not what drives me. My father would not want that. He, and my mother, raised me to believe that it is a privilege to be able to fight for those who cannot. I know there is risk involved, but I feel it is worth it. I am glad you seem to think so too. Yeah, I guess. I guess. Let's see. What does your mother think about all of this? Well, as you saw, she worries a great deal. She is an excellent seer, but I think it bothers her to this day that she did not see my father's death coming. She misses him. As do I. So I believe on some level she understands my need to seek justice in a small way. But that does not mean that she likes it. Mm. Do you think your father would approve of the things we've been doing? Oh my, that is a good question. In theory, yes. Although he would worry as my mother does. But I think he, of all people, would understand my persistence. My father never shied away from a fight for good, no matter how ruthless the foe. And I think he would have enjoyed knowing that I had a compatriot like you. Oh. I'm sorry, Natty. Thank I you, can't thank imagine you. what you've been through. Your father sounds exceptional. He was truly extraordinary. And thank you for your kind words. 
You're very welcome. My father had a saying about oh, that. Well, yeah. Yes, I remember. Rain does not fall on one roof alone. Exactly. Soon you and I will put an end to the Ashwinders, beginning with Harlow. Well, it's not gonna end well, I think. Gone, we will turn our attention to Rookwood. Hmm. We are making progress, and we will succeed. Okay, okay. Thank you again for saving me. You deserve all of the praise you have received. Oh, thank you. you know, I try my best. I, I do, I do. Yo, if I put this fire out... Nothing's gonna happen. Okay, what's next? That's not enough. All that is not enough for our video. Let's do... In a shadow. That's what Sebastian's up to, huh? What is the boy up to these days? Damn, brother. Oh, holy shit. I uh, totally forgot about this side of the goddamn map. <laughs> shit, it's so big to collect stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like, Jesus Christ, leave me alone. What is up? A lost relic from a catacomb which requires a dark sacrifice. I know how it sounds, but if this can help you, it's worth the risk. Does Ominous know about this? He helped find the scriptorium where we discovered Slytherin's spellbook. Very well. If Ominous will be there, I'll meet you. We don't have much time. Solomon wants to leave Feldcroft. What? Leave? Never mind. You need to stall him. Buy us time, man. Please. I shall do my best. I'll be in touch. Now we go finish for off. Solomon can't take hand from Feldcroft. Where would they go? When would I see her? Never, that is the whole point, my guy. Sebastian, don't think I've forgotten about your goblin friend. I haven't. But I appreciate you setting our earlier discussion aside for now. Of course. I can't believe my uncle wants to leave Feldcroft. Anne's going to stall him. She must. We need time. Time? For what? I've learned more about the relic. I cross-reference Slytherin's spellbook with everything in the library on relics and dark sacrifices. Mm -hmm. That's when I realized something. I believe the relic will only work inside the catacomb. Oh, yeah? So we have to get Anne to the catacomb and then conduct a sacrifice? Seems risky. It'll be worth the risk. Our biggest hurdle may be convincing Ominous. Anne will only give this a chance if he's on board. And we have to keep all of this from your uncle. If he goes to the headmaster, well, he could be expelled. Let me handle yeah. Ominous this time. As for my uncle, he's not an aura anymore. What he doesn't know, well, won't hurt us. That is true. Do you think your uncle would tell anyone at the Ministry about all of this if he found out? If he found out, I doubt he'd go to the Ministry. He didn't part ways with them well, from what I understand. He won't say, but I believe his strong aversion to dark magic has something to do with his time there. Anne thinks he once decided to fight fire with fire, so to speak, and resorted to using an unforgivable curse and fight against dark wizards. Uh, At least that's what she thought she heard. When he realized what his job had led him to become, he left rather abruptly. So, I'm not sure he'd go to the Ministry to report on his own family using dark magic now. Good luck, Maybe. Luminous. We don't know. Until we meet again. I shall let you know when the four of us should meet at the catacomb. Look for my owl. He's actually gonna convince her. That'll be, See you soon. That'll be very... That'll be very impressive if he does. He's gonna clear this area real quick. Oh, there's a... It's like a behind? Holy shit. God damn, man. That's too much work to clear all that. I'll do it at the end of the game, maybe. Oh, let's go see what D has to say, you know. He might he might have some good news for us. Maybe. Well it looks like the title of the quest is in it. You know he wants to talk to us about the Phoenix. Let's see what Mr. Deke has got to say. Deke Sir has some exciting news to share. Tell me. Hello Deke. Professor Weasley said you had an idea. Indeed, Deke does. Deke knows that you want to learn about all sorts of beasts. And Deke recently heard rumors of a phoenix nest in a nearby mountain. A phoenix nest? I wonder if it belongs to the phoenix Natty mentioned. The one Harlow and the poacher pack are after. D 
Deke would not doubt it. If Deke has heard of it, surely the nasty poachers have as well, which means it could be in danger. I'll get on it. Well, I'd better go and rescue it then, hadn't I? And Deke thinks so. So majestic a beast should not fall into such vile hands. Deke is not sure why, but Deke feels that saving a phoenix might help to make amends for what happened with Deke's prior master. Deke hopes that you are able to find the phoenix and bring it to the room where it will be safe. I'll try my best. Search the cave. Okay, okay. Where is this cave? Okay. World map. Is this somewhere new? Oh, it is. Jesus Christ. Well. Oh. I guess we gotta go learn it. Shit. There we go. Do it. Search the cave. You probably won't find it. I know a Merlin trial when I see one. Oh, since I'm here, I might as well do a goddamn Merlin trial. Shit. Oh. Easy. Oh, after all, Dubs, dubs, dubs. Smirk to Merlin. On my way to the Phoenix, and this is gonna take a little extra long. Oh, another thingy over here. And you? Incendio. Oh, got the landing platform. Interesting. Where is the tre oh, there's a treasure right here on the cliff side, huh? Well put, well put. Never would have seen it. I know what that means. God damn Merlin. Merlin trial. Why is Merlin in the way when I need it? Don't need it to be in the way. No, no. Do it. Okay, I did do it. Jesus, that was close. I did it. It's all that matters. Ah, then there's so many people here. Yeah, that's a lot of people in this camp. Petrificus Holy shit. Yeah, Petrificus, this guy? I hope so. Next time I see Fig or that student, I'll give them what they deserve. Send him. Damn. Rest Lord. Easy, my large friend. Lord Almighty is a bunch. <laughs> Where the heck is everyone? Oh, I did not just... and this takes us to the other side which makes sense god damn so to get to the other side it's uh to the little cave interesting interesting i thought i could just fly over but can't let them find me now so my hard work there we go your blood's on ranrock's hands yeah, yeah, that's right. That, that counts as complete. Basically, Revelio. I didn't have to do shit. That's all I know. This wasn't even a part of anything, honestly. God damn, I thought it would. I got this. Yeah, probably shouldn't have done anything. Should have just chilled. Oh well. Could it be? I'm not a Merlin. Oh, Merlin. oh my god, it is dumb, dumb. Been like that every time we've been somewhere. This doesn't look too hard though, so. 
Oh bam, oh bam, oh bam. And then there's below us as well, right? That's it. There's more? Where? Good sir. Good sir. Damn it. Why you like this? No? Revelio. Why don't you just reveal it to me? Ah, damn. Oh, there it is. Be like so close to it just to see it. Charles won't get the best. Just to get to the other side, I have to fight through a horde of enemies. I don't see That's myself crazy. doing this sort of thing forever, though. Fancy I'll have my own operation. Oh, it's no talent. People working for me. Let's keep going. Goblins will finally rule over wizards. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. You can't, you can't protect yourself against me. That's a problem. Oh, sir. Circus Titanus. Yeah. Smoke. Smoke, smoke, smoke. Oh, so sad. Damn. If only you were any good. This looks intriguing. Makes sense. Okay. No one expected that either, huh? Shit. Where are we at? Damn, random ass spiders and shit. No one. Oh, Ogbert the Odd. If anybody cares. Oh. Damn, Ogbert. Would be a shame if he just got smoked. Oh my god. No, you didn't get beat. You only have Ranrock to blame. There's no way, dog. I feel so bad almost. Rebellion. Uh. Uh. Man. He's supposed to be a boss, too. Sad. I guess not today. Oh. Oh my god. The whole underground? Jesus. Yeah, I'm just getting to the... To the other side is a whole video of itself. God damn, holy shit. Oh, can't carry anymore? God damn it, that one time I didn't sell. Well. We continue on, because Ogbort the Odd got his ass handed it to him. Oh, are we on the other side? Posting? Oh, North Pots your coast. Damn, I have not been here once. Oh. Oh my god. Rebellion. Shit. What does this say? Oh, anti. Of course, the fact that this antique muggle compass was dropped here in the muggle who dropped it probably wandering through the world by now. Sheesh. Okay, well, we're probably gonna end it here because, yeah, damn, man, like, that's crazy. We already did a bunch, anyways, so. There's a whole ass area to explore, like, here. Oh, we're on this side. Oh, my god, we haven't even. Oh, my god, it's Tomb of Treachery. Tomb of Treachery. <laughs> oh, the Tombs of Treachery. I'm just gonna get this thing because, why the hell not? Oh, my god. Oh, look at that speed I'm gaining. Sheesh. Yeah. Damn. Oh, yo, we're on the coast or something. Oh, that looks cool. You gonna be like new enemies here? That'd be also cool. Uh, uh, no, the same guy down there. Sad. Here I thought it was gonna be at least a little different. Oh. Oh, ha. Oh. Okay, we'll end it. What do you have in store for me this time? Okay, Merlin, you're in too slick. Look at that. Come on. Merlin, please. Oh, so shade, Merlin. So shade. Mysterious and a bit unsettling. Let's go to the Tomb of Treachery, then we'll end it there. Wasn't too much exploring in this one. Not much story. So. Go to the tomb, see what we can discover.
Tomb of Treachery. Is it gonna be long? I wonder. Let's find out. 